when the idea of a portrait was mentioned of Michael Novak, the question came up, well, where should it be hung? And there are all sorts of places in Washington particularly. Michael Novak has been a public figure in Washington for decades, and yet it was determined that he should, it should be at Ave Maria. And in a way, uh, Tom and I knew it was fitting because Michael Novak was our first trustee. We had a number of prominent people that were on the board in those early years, but only Michael Novak stayed with us through some of the difficult period and through some of the internal turmoil that occurs when a new institution is getting going. So it is with an enormous pleasure and gratitude that we can announce that the portrait of our first trustee will hang in the library of Ave Maria University. There are two traditions of the 13th century that I really very much admire. I learned of the first when I became provost of an experimental college in, on Long Island. And it was that in the 1200s, the provost at Oxford had the privilege of one free murder every year. <laughs> you might not think that would be enough, <laughs> but if you consider how many dissenters would be worried all year long. My Lord, the uh, second tradition I liked very much is that when they were about to hang a man, they gave him a chance for a few last words. <laughs> and I take that as my assignment. <laughs> Igor learned the language of the great Renaissance painters. He knows how to do the color and the light. He knows how to do the darks and the brilliant. He knows how to do line and figure, but also just shapes through light. And he knows how to use symbolism. You know, every little detail in a Renaissance painting speaks of something else. And one of the most interesting features of these paintings is he takes you into the life of the person. And I'm, I, I'm very grateful, I think, to Igor. I haven't seen the final product. Thank you very much. approach it uh, uh, in order to uh, tell the story about him. People will be coming to this painting and will know who it is, what it is about. It doesn't even need any description. Like in today's uh, uh, museums, quite often in galleries, you can see the painting and right next to it, description, what it means. The painting should speak for itself.